Okay. Hi, guys. It's me. After a really long time. So, it's been really hot lately because, you know, it's summer. And, uh, I have to wash my binder. So, this is how I wash it. Laundry detergent. We just reuse this. I already have the sink full of warmish hot water. I kind of just have the binder sitting in there with the soap already in there. Probably used too much. Who knows? I then proceed to just wash it because I can't put my binder in the washer because I don't want to risk anything happening to it. So you just kind of scrub it and put soap like this. It's sopping wet now. I got my binder from GC2B. They sent me a little card thingy with it that uh, I'm putting more soap. This could be a bad idea. Or probably too much. Oh well. But uh, I can put it in a dryer to uh, dry it and tighten it up and whatever else I might need to do. I'm adding more water. Just because I feel like water was lost. <laughs> Due to the sink not being properly tagged or whatever. But um, all I do to wash my binder is I just scrub it into itself a lot, flipping it inside and out, making sure everything gets washed. trying to murder it. Wait till you stop seeing bubbles come up. I have notifications coming in. My hands are too fucking wet to stop it. So, um, I'm not an expert on owning a binder. I've only had it since February thanks to a good friend of mine. He's wonderful. He offered to buy it for me. It is honestly the best thing that's ever happened to me. Ow. My transition so far has been helped by many people, my friends. He bought my binder for me. My girlfriend bought me my first packer. That's kind of self-explanatory. To wash it, take it in the shower with you. And uh, get some actual like packing boxers. The company that she got it from was a company that she works for. <clears throat> and uh, so we got some boxers with it. And I usually just wear either boxer briefs or just normal boxers over those because it leaves the packer exposed in the front this water is hot it's making me hot it's fucking hot now i gotta kick up the sopping wet thing and flip it and outside in or whatever i don't know and then just keep washing it i'm just gonna record the whole washing because why the fuck not at least it comes with a rinsing, because then you won't be able to hear me over the water. I'll, I'll cut till after I'm done rinsing. I need you to watch me wring it out. Right. But I've been wearing this thing. Last time I washed it, which is gross. Because I don't wear it that often, and I don't wear it for long. Last time I washed it was right after I shot it. And then I woke up today and took off with my best friend to go to work. And then I was like, you know what? I need to go back to my house. And she was like, okay. So we went back to my house, I threw on my binder, and went to work. It was like 90 degrees today. That's hot. And to be in a binder that entire time, all the way up until now, and it is 2.20 in the morning, I just took the damn thing off. And I put it on about 4 o'clock this afternoon, give or take a few hours. Probably closer to 3. I don't know when I woke up. But you just want to make sure that you got it nice and scrubbed. Soak it. Scrub it. Scrub it. Very sexual things. This is just to help out any young trans guys or non-binary people who wear binders. You won't hear anything from me about issues with that. To each their own. Even cosplayers. You could be completely cisgendered cosplayer. You still need to know how to wash a binder if you're wearing one. So hopefully this helps. I would grab the camera and angle it down, but my hands are soaking fucking wet.
if you wear it for long periods of time and you wear it a lot, you want to wash it more often. Come this summer, I will be washing mine more. Because uh, um, the material is very gross when it's wet. But best binders I know of are GCTV. I have a tank top binder. They have like half tank binders. I don't like those as much. I like to go into stores wearing nothing but my binder and nobody knows any different. Like earlier today, I went into my place of work to go shopping with the binder on. And because I took my shirt off after I walked in there and the manager didn't say anything. I didn't figure she would. It's not like I was naked. Okay. Now. I try to unstick the thing that I put in there. Ow. Okay, hang on. Just... Don't get your plug stuck in the drain. Doesn't end well. But that's okay. That's a fucking spoon. Where are the damn knives? Fork. Why are the knives over here? Okay. Move your binder to the side if you're saying you get stuck in there. Because you don't want to break it. Or not break it. You don't want to puncture a hole in it or anything like that. You get to watch me fail miserably into getting this thing unstuck. Oh. Just stand here slowly and let it drain till I can get the suction out of there. We'll be back after the rinsing and the draining of the sink. I haven't rinsed it yet. I decided to grab pliers. Duh. Why didn't they go that sooner? Um, we now have a sopping wet and soapy binder. Use lukewarm water to rinse it. Not hot, not cold. And uh, I'll be back when I do that. Okay. Uh, just finished rinsing it out. It's a pain in the ass. I really need to keep my head in front of that light. Now, we stirring it out. And then we hang it out. So you have a sopping wet binder. What I usually do is I just, I roll it. There. I just roll mine like this to bring it out because I don't have a ringer sadly I kind of wish I did now some binders can be put in the washer I prefer not to put mine in there with the light stop that might help you don't have to do this in your kitchen either it's just the kitchen has the best lighting and the best you know sink You don't have to get every ounce of water out. I just try to. I'm an overachiever. And that makes it easier to just take it out over the floor. And you have a soaking wet binder. With said soaking wet binder, you turn off the light over the fucking sink. You come over to where the washer and dryer is at, for me anyway. This is where I choose to hang mine. Find an empty hanger. So, but that. You find an empty hanger. You take your binder. And you hang it on there. It's gonna be wrinkly. And then we just hang ours up there like that. Ta-da! Ta-da! And it'll just hang up there and dry and probably drip all over the floor. But it'll dry. And then once it's dry, probably sometime later today, like I said, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'll throw it in the dryer for a few minutes. It's... My phone's dying. It's gonna get dark for a second. Just bear with me. I gotta get to my room. 
This is the place y'all recognize. So many loud noises in here. Um, well, shit. My card from GC is over here somewhere where it gives me instructions on how to wash it. I got a new bed, by the way, for anybody who's wondering if the room looks different. It does. I can't find my card. Um, you uh, throw it in the dryer for like 15 minutes on low heat. Just kind of fluff it up and tighten it. So like if you get your binder from them, ignore the picture of my little sister. I got that card from them. It came with my binder. But uh, you just put it in there for like 15 minutes, low heat, kind of fluff it up, tighten it if it feels loose. And that's all I can really think about when it comes to cleaning your binder. That's all I ever do. Use way too much fucking uh, soap. But thank you guys for watching. I hope at least I helped some young trans people or non-binary people or cosplayers. Have a good day, guys.